It's been a fantastic week of conversations, <coughs> many of them energy and climate related. I know you've had similar conversations this week. Are you walking away from these meetings this week more optimistic, more constructive about the future? Well, I came in pretty optimistic about the future, and I'm leaving even more optimistic. I think we're in the middle of a new industrial revolution. I think that the energy transition has a lot of momentum, so I feel very good about where we're going from a business standpoint. What's encouraging you the most right now? What are you hearing that's giving you the most encouragement? Well, I think the big thing that's happened is that clean energy and the new technologies are winning in the marketplace, and they're winning in the marketplace around the world. So we can talk, I think most people think that at some point we're going to start going through an energy transition, but the actual truth is we're right in the middle of a very fast energy transition around the world, and really nothing's going to stop. We're also in the middle of an election cycle. Are you disappointed that Kamala Harris in her 82-page economic policy document was actually touting U.S. record fossil fuel production? I really think that the Harris Walls campaign is trying to talk about energy and meet voters where they are, which is about economics. We know that Kamala Harris has been a strong advocate of clean energy for decades. We know that Governor Walz has a very strong climate record. But when they're talking to voters on the campaign trail, it's not about what you want to talk about. It's what they are able to hear. And what everybody in the United States is worried about right now is economics, is about us succeeding, is about jobs and costs. And that's what they're talking about. And I think that's entirely appropriate. If that is accurate, which I think you do, everyone is talking about, about this, then why put the brakes on some projects that could fuel all of this? We spoke to the Rio Tinto CEO yesterday who basically said it was the Biden administration who put a pause on a mega copper mine in Arizona. Part of this has to do with politics. I know that there's a lot of talk about critical minerals, and I know that the people are pointing out different ways that this revolution can be slowed or can be, you can lose its momentum. And I believe all of those conversations are overblown. I believe that, in fact, what we're going through is a huge business transformation, that it has amazing momentum. Will there be problems with it about permitting and the grid and critical minerals? Absolutely, and people talk about them all the time. Sure. But they're missing the big picture, which is, if you look at 2023, globally, 83% of new electricity generation was renewable. Was anybody doing that to be nice? Nobody. They did it because it's a better deal. You know, we're really in the, the time of cheaper, faster, better. In fact, the new technologies are better and they're cheaper and people around the world are adopting them for that reason. Not to be nice, not to save the world, because it's a better deal for them.